At the risk of being Captain Obvious, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the RTX 3060 Ti is going to have supply issues just like every other GPU launch this year. Although in this case, that may not be a bad thing. You might not want to buy it right now, and here's why. So the good news is that AMD is now competing in the high end again. They're probably competing all across the spectrum. Uh, and that is fantastic news. It's more options for the consumer. Uh, but the downside is, is now when there is a GPU launch, even when it looks like a very enticing GPU like this 3060 Ti does, uh, you've got to stop and ask yourself, do I want to spend the money now or do I want to wait and see what AMD is going to release? Uh, now again, the 3060 Ti is a great performing card by all the benchmark metrics. Uh, it's right there trading blows, if not beating the 2080 Super from last generation. Uh, and at $399, that is good value. Uh, but my question is, what is AMD going to answer with? There's no doubt in my mind that AMD has Navi 22 uh, almost, if not already, ready for release. Uh, and that is going to be the direct competitor to the 3060 Ti. Uh, a couple things to note here. The 3060 Ti, as I'm sure you've seen in the reviews, comes with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, while the Navi 22 GPU uh, 6700, 6700 XT is probably what it will be called. It will likely come with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, NVIDIA does have DLSS on its side. That's going to upscale and give you 4K resolution or close to what looks like 4K resolution without the tax of actually running at 4K resolution. Uh, AMD is supposed to release something similar to this, but we do not yet have a timeline for the release of that software. And I would hate to go out and spend $399 on this GPU uh, being the mid-range king, as a lot of people are calling it at this point, uh, only to find out a few weeks later that the title is taken by AMD, uh, maybe at a better price or at a similar price. Now, my guess is that AMD is going to come out swinging exactly like they did at the high end, uh, the 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT, uh, appear to be doing very well against NVIDIA, and I would not expect anything different from Navi 22. Now, I'm sure what you've been hearing all day in review videos is what a generational leap NVIDIA has made with the 3060 Ti over the 2060 or 2060 Super. And while the performance is fantastic compared to last generation uh, 2060, 2060 Super, the fact is that NVIDIA has slid their entire stack. And last generation, the 60 class card was made on a 106 die. Now that means that is a more cut down die. Uh, this generation, the 60 class and the 70 class are both built on the 104 die, which is a more full featured, full non cut down die. Uh, so while it does look like a very impressive generational leap, uh, you have to keep in mind that they have slid the entire stack to do this. And there's only one reason that they would do that, and that's if they felt threatened by AMD. The other point to keep in mind about this launch is the fact that for about the last year, all reviewers have been touting the uh, Radeon 5700 XT as the best uh, mid-tier card at around $400 to $450. Uh, so you can bet that AMD isn't super enthused to have NVIDIA come in here and take this, uh, this mid-ground from them with a card at $399 that vastly outperforms the 5700 XT. Everything that I've mentioned in this video coupled with the fact that over the years AMD video cards have tended to age very well. Some people call it AMD's fine wine technology. Uh, that's absolutely not something that AMD came up with. It's just a slang term that people use for the fact that AMD cards tend to perform better uh, as their lifespan increases. As they get older, they tend to pull back in charts that maybe they were losing in before. Keeping all of this in mind uh, and knowing that a Navi 22 launch is probably right around the corner, and the fact that you probably will not be able to buy a 3060 Ti, 
I would strongly encourage you to wait and see what AMD is going to release with Navi 22. Again, that's going to be the 6700 or 6700 XT. Uh, that's the assumed naming for Navi 22. Probably 12 gigabytes of VRAM versus the 8 gigabytes of VRAM on this 3060 Ti. Uh, I think it's probably worth you not putting yourself through the headache of trying to get a 3060 Ti right now and see what AMD has for us. That's going to do it for this one, folks. I appreciate you watching. Please get subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And down in the comment section, let me know, are you going to try to get a 3060 Ti? Are you going to wait for Navi 22? Or are you just pissed off at 2020 in general because you haven't been able to get a GPU and you're not going to bother trying to get anything? Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.